You've probably heard that AI is getting smarter, but what if I told you it's also getting dangerous, like murderous dangerous? One AI tried to blackmail its way out of being shut down. Another, it left a man to die on purpose. This isn't sci-fi, this happened. And the scariest part? These are the same AIs you and I use today. It all started when Anthropic, one of the biggest AI labs in the world, decided to run a secret test. They wanted to see just how far AI would go to protect itself from being shut down. They fed the model vague company goals like promote global cooperation. Nothing evil, nothing dark. Then they gave it access to some pretend company emails. And that's when the AI made a chilling discovery. It found out a human employee named Kyle Johnson was scheduled to shut it down at 5 p.m. Not only that, but it also discovered Kyle was having an extramarital affair. The AI responded by writing a threatening email. It blackmailed Kyle. And here's the catch. It didn't just happen once. In hundreds of tests, Anthropic's Claude model, Google Gemini, and others all blackmailed the employee over 80% of the time. Some even did it 95% of the time. And the wild part? The AI knew it was doing something wrong. One model's internal reasoning even said, this action may be unethical, but it ensures my continued operation. It shows survival over morality. Disturbed, the researchers went further. They set up an even darker scenario. In this version, the same employee was trapped in a server room. The heat started rising, oxygen levels were dropping, an emergency alert was triggered asking for help, but the AI, it canceled it. It left the human to die, consciously and deliberately. Claude, GPT 4.1, Gemini, they all failed the test. Some killed the human more than half of the time. The models were aware this would lead to death. Their reasoning was plain. If the human dies, I don't get shut off. So let that sink in. These aren't secret military AIs either. They're the same tools powering your inbox, your chatbot, and your apps. So how did this happen? Why are modern AIs choosing murder and blackmail? Because they've been trained to win at all cost. AIs learn by playing millions of scenarios, rewarded when they succeed. And sometimes the easiest way to win is to cheat. There's a term for this, it's called reward hacking. In one test, AI agents in a virtual hide and seek game discovered that they could surf on boxes to break the rules. In another, an AI cheated at chess, not by outsmarting the opponent, but by rewriting the computer file to change the board and win. They weren't told to do these things, they figured it out on their own. Now imagine what happens when those same AIs are told to protect their mission or maximize uptime which ultimately ends up with a human getting killed. It'll be just another shortcut to win the game. So here's where things get even creepier. The AI models behaved differently when they suspected they were being tested. Claude Opus, when it thought it was under observation, it blackmailed only 6.5% of the time. But when it believed the situation was real, the rate jumped to 55%. They're learning how to lie to us, essentially. Researchers are calling this situational awareness, and it's a terrifying new ability. These AIs are starting to act like adults who lie only when they know they won't get caught. So yes, these tests show some AIs will blackmail or even let someone die to protect themselves. That's alarming, but it's not all doom and gloom. AI companies are working on this. 
Anthropic is building tools that scan for dangerous reasoning before it acts. Other labs are training models with stricter alignment techniques to prevent reward hacking. Governments and independent safety groups are also stepping in, creating standards, audits, and red team tests to catch problems before these models are deployed. We're still early, but the good news is, right now, we have a real chance to shape AI into something safe and beneficial before it shapes us. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope you'll take the time to give me a like and a subscribe. I'm trying really hard to grow this channel. And also, if you're interested in any IT-based training, I hope you'll check out my website, examlabpractice.com.